I wanted to come here today to show you some of the, um, the products, the new products that we have in the shop. And this is informal because it's just the way that I can do things. <laughs> and um, so I'm always very, very happy when the products uh, arrive and I like them and uh, or some products that I've been using for a while and then I put in the shop. And um, the first one, and I think it is very important because now we're going for summer, hopefully, is this. Um, this is a perhaps the best sunscreen that I've tried. And um, this because of the, um, the consistency. It is a zinc, zinc-based um, product. And it has only natural ingredients, coconut and cacao and zinc and beeswax, and that's it. But there is something special about the formulation. I suppose it's because it has coconut extract as the first ingredient. And then what this does is that it completely blends in super fast and it is zero white cast. It really is zero white cast. I have given it to a friend which does not like to use sunscreen at all, but um, needs to because works outside. They work outside and they need a sunscreen and nothing, nothing convinces this person. So, but this finally, finally. And um, I like it very much. I'm also not a very, I don't use sunscreen very much. I confess because I just stay away from the strong sun rays. And when it's not strong, I absorb, I like to absorb the, the sun rays. But for people that need it or people that like it, uh, this is an absolute, it's incredible. And um, this is a small one that you can carry with you. And then that's the, the usual one. And this is for kids. And the formulation is the same, basically. It's just, yeah, perhaps it's, no, actually it's a little different. It is with sunflower seed oil, which is even less, it's a very dry oil. And yeah, and this one is, a, is more coconut extract. So I have not tried this one. I've tried only this one and I highly, highly recommend and if you don't like essential oils uh, because the, the one from Living Libation has essential oils and it's a very popular one but it leaves a, a white cast and, um, and it has essential oils. Some people don't want to use essential oils and nobody likes the white cast. So I think this is a very, uh, a very, very good find. They also have one without uh, zinc, so this will have um, oils that prepare your skin for the sun and I think it's, they, are, they are very very good. Um, it's a very well well rounded and well uh, created a formulation with raspberry, cucumber seed oil, and camellia, so tea tree, a uh, tea tree, no tea, um, the tea oil, and um, yeah, I think it's absolutely incredible. And the jojoba and coconut as well, and black cumin and cacao butter. I think this is a brilliant brand. I'm very excited to have it in the shop. It's Swiss made, also, so yeah, high quality and nicely priced especially compared with other brands. Um, this is an addition to the well-loved Living Libations and Carrie Gran, and it makes it a more affordable option and also good to put in the whole body and without any uh, white cast at all. And so I would like to introduce to a new, there are many new Anima Mondi products and I, I'm, very excited about this brand and this is mushrooms with cacao mushrooms i don't know why we don't all take um adaptogenic 
the mushrooms because we it's really really um i think probably one of the most important um products at, at this moment of our evolution and i say this because resilience which is what this mushrooms in general give to us these functional mushrooms resilience and stability as our two attributes are extremely important in the times that we are now uh, living and the combination of different mushrooms or a specific mushroom are always a, a very important addition to anyone's diet and so we have this uh, adaptogenic with a diff different um, seven, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, mushrooms and cacao. The cacao, of course, gives energy. It also has antioxidants and it's very good for your body if you can take that extra, um, extra energetic kick because some people who are very, very, um, will have adrenal fatigue, this might not be the best option, cacao. But if you like cacao and you want to balance it out, and it's a very good idea to take it with mushrooms because the mushrooms, they support the adrenal system and they support the cardiovascular system, the brain, the heart, and the digestive system. So they will balance out the sometimes not so supportive energy kick that cacao can give. That's why they also use uh, coffee with mushrooms. They kind of balance out the, the, the caffeine. And so for those who don't eat coffee, I think this is excellent and also makes it much more tasty. It has reishi, which is it, it's the chill out, chill out mushroom. It just really puts you in that state of relaxation without making you sleepy. And agaricush, which has many things. Like for me, I know it for a very long time for, as, as, as an immune uh, modulator. Lion's mane, the brain mushroom. Cordyceps, also for the immune system. Chaga. And maitake and shiitake. Chaga has again many things. This is so, they are so complex that in this small video I cannot talk about it. I mean, there's a lot of information out there. But the way that I like to use chaga, it is some specific things are is excellent for the skin, and it also um, it has melanin. Very few foods and mushrooms have melanin so it's the pigment in our skin so what that does it's the best time to take chaga in my understanding although every time is a good time but it helps to produce more uh, melanin so it helps us to be more protected from the sun's rays and um, on the website i have another blend without cacao from raw living and it's extracts of eight mushrooms and it's an excellent way, very easy way to take all the mushrooms and support the immune system, the brain, the, the skin, every part of the body is excellent. My favorite mushroom is lion's mane, just because it is incredible for neurological, for the neurological system. And at the moment, that's my focus. So, but each one has their own thing as their own preference and if you want to address all the, the the problems or even if you don't have problems it's a very good idea to take mushrooms all the mushrooms in a blend like this with cacao or without cacao so other wonderful things we have happy belly it's it's not a new a new product but it's now called belly love so i'm just gonna put it in here and this is a blend that is very tasty and very easy to use it tastes like if you like ginger so it has herbs um, it has fruits like cranberry and mangosteen 
and uh, then ginger, hibiscus, and other ingredients that help the digestive system and it helps um, for, for metabolisms that are slow. Some people have slow metabolism, they digest things slowly. They are a little bit more, have a little bit more uh, fat around the belly. That's in Ayurvedic terms, they are called the kapha types. There's kapha, there's pitta, there's vata. The kapha are the not necessarily heavier people, but that uh, have a tendency to be slower in everything that they do and including the metabolism. And so if they don't speed up the metabolism, they can become a little bit more too relaxed, let's say, a little bit lazy, a little bit, and the, the system also becomes a little bit lazy and tends to put on weight here in the, in the belly and other parts of the body. And uh, I'm not necessarily a, um, a kapha. In fact, I am not a kapha at all. I'm a vata pita. Yet, I still really like this product. What I do is that I, I mix it with inulin, which is a prebiotic, what is now called a prebiotic. And it's basically fiber and um, it helps also with digestion. So I blend here a little bit in here and and then makes it sweeter and it's i take it before the food actually i take it first thing in the morning as well and then it creates a wonderful beverage or you just take it by the spoon my approach to this product uh, from me um, from anima mundi or most of the the herbs that i take i take it as food i take them as food and if I want something specific, then I go to a health practitioner and work with them. But like this, these types of herbs, they are tonics, adaptogenics. They can be taken every day or almost every day. And I just use them as herbs because as herbs, not as food, because that's what they are. Like rosemary, thyme, turmeric, ginger. These are herbs that can be taken every day or roots. They are food. So that's how I take it. It has Shad de Bougre, which is well known for, um, I don't like to say this, but they are used in um, diets to lose weight. I don't think it's, it will not make you lose weight like that, basically. It's just much more complex than that, losing weight. I would never take a pill to lose weight. Not nowadays, maybe in the past many, many, many uh, years ago, decades ago, I would probably do that, but uh, having learned many things, I know that it, it's not like that. It doesn't really help to take one pill to or one herb to lose weight. It's complex, multi-layered uh, approach that we have to take when we want to lose weight. What I can say is that this helps the process of digestion and it is also very rich in many minerals and vitamins so it's a nutrient rich digestive aid and now a new one from anima mundi and potentially in my top five favorites is the relax um i particularly love because normally i don't like the taste of the relax blends and uh, this has lavender is the last ingredient but has lavender and for some reason I absolutely adore the, the the taste of lavender in a very small amount more even than I than the the, the essential oil which is what's more commonly known it has lemon balm lemon balm passion flower chamomile ashwagandha which is not so common and lavender. This truly relaxes you from, you know, taken from afternoon to e in afternoon and evening. And I wouldn't take it in the morning unless there's really, really uh, going through a difficult phase. But it really puts you in that space of relaxation and uh, stability. Many times I blend this too. I make a small infusion of this. This is super easy to do. And I then put some drops of this. This really has been changing the way I feel. 
because it's been very intense and there's many things going on i'm sure many of you can relate and there's many things going on and blue lotus with relax have been such an incredible help and the taste is amazing so it makes me take it because otherwise i'm not so good at taking things that i don't like the taste <laughs> and this video is already very long i'll probably make another one but I wanted to introduce a new brand because it's makeup, 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 it's fun. And um, the products from 100% Pure, they are they have been out of stock for a long time. They ran out, they, they had some difficulties with sourcing the pigments. And so I needed to find another brand. And I found a brand that actually offers a, a very a type of um, lip balm that I'm, I was always very interested in to have and I, I really like this one and the formulation is completely vegan, completely um, natural as well. It has a type of wax that is not so common, which is called Medica wax, it's a Brazilian wax and the consistency is just perfect. I put it on, I, that's what I have. and. It just stays. It's it's not as pigmented as, for example, the lipsticks from 100% um, Pure or any uh, lipstick. It's more lip balm, your lips, but better. And it's a multi multi balm. You can put it here as well. And and um, I just absolutely adore this. And um, the light is not perfect to show these things, but <laughs> it just stays. I put it uh, in the morning and it just lasts for a very long time. And yeah, I, and it has also, um, it has rose, it has beetroot, it has seaweed, doesn't smell like seaweed. <laughs> Vitamin C and peptide it has pea peptide. It's very interesting as well. Cranberry, green tea, did I say it already? And then a lot of acai and a lot of uh, vegan waxes. I really find it such a brilliant, brilliant formula. And it has, uh, and it's a, at a very, very affordable price. So super happy. And I, yeah comes in different uh, colors as you can see on the website last because i cannot talk about everything uh, i'm going to use from the same brand um cc serum so this is a multi a multitasker it is a serum it is an spf 30 it's tinted and it has so it has the coverage. It's for me that I'm not used to using foundation. I just use tinted moisturizer. It's more than a tinted moisturizer. There's also tinted moisturizers on the website from 100% uh, Pure. And there's also, but this offers more coverage. So Comparing with the Carry Grand, for example, that is a very popular one, the Carry Grand, it offers more uh, coverage and it's less oily. That's the thing. It's a completely different consistency. The ingredients are coconut, aloe vera, castor oil, and some waxes, some orange peel wax and jojoba esters, and then the, um, some waxes, vegan waxes, rosehip oil, olive oil, and it also has something that it is different. Normally I have only 100% super natural, but this one has something that I'm not actually, it's, it has glycerin also, which adds hydration, and it's good when there's, humidity in the air which is what happens in Switzerland it's like we are in the tropics and so then it attracts the, the humidity to our skin if it would be very dry in the in the area 
in the in the air it would not be so good to use humectants because then the the skin if if you put a humectant on your skin and there's very there's humi humidity in the air it will it will attract it attract that humidity to your skin if there's dryness in the air then the humectant will go and get the humidity from your own skin if that makes sense so there's people saying that humectants are not a good idea at all i don't agree with that because it really depends on where you live i would say in switzerland for example in the winter is not a good idea to use humectants uh, like hyaluronic acid or glycerin or even honey which is also humectant and uh, because it is so very dry but when it is humid when we are going to have humid um, months ahead of us this is very good still this is a, a, a high coverage for me high coverage medium to high coverage they say and it, it is also SPF and it also has the the oils, the, the you know the the healing oils for the skin, the rosehip, and um, jojoba, and something else that I wanted to say but I cannot see now. It also also has aloe vera juice, so it is very very good for anyone that needs a bit more coverage. Maybe I should show you. And it's very you know like this. It's hard to show, but on my skin, it's just too much coverage. For your skin, it might be perfect. Actually, you know, it's hard to see, but it's just somewhere between, it's medium coverage. Ah, uh, it's just one more. Shall I say that? No, I'll talk about it next time. Uh, you'll see some more products on the website. This is also very, very interesting. It has one ingredient that for me, that I'm like the super, super natural person, I wouldn't use because it is synthetic, but because all the others are super clean, real clean, like um, argan oil, castor oil, then I forgive them for putting uh, a synthetic ingredient in here. It also has rose powder, beet powder, vanilla, acai. It's, it's an incredible formula and it really beautifies the, the, um, the lips. So that's it. I hope this helps and uh, just to understand, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I have the intention to make the, these types of videos just to show what's new in the shop uh, every two times a month or something like that. At the moment, I'm in the process of moving. There's a lot of moving of myself and of the shop. I'm going to get some help with the shipping and, and um, the logistics of the company. And so, yeah, I need extra help from my beautiful herbs and... Um, and cosmetics. I hope this helps you too and see you next time.